Félix Alaton was a Swiss artist that moved to Paris when he was 16 years old, in a time where the city was the art capital of the world, at the beginning of the modern art. While he was briefly involved with the Nabi avant-garde movement, he followed his own path, looking in his works for an austere clarity and a discreet sense of tension. The book starts with a number of essays written by different authors, exploring many facets of his work, his interest in the bourgeois life of the end-of-century Paris, the part he played in the symbolist and Nabi movements, and his works as an engraver for Parisian magazines. There is some overlap as many essays tackle extensively his printmaking period and less his later works. The catalogue is organized thematically, beginning with his earlier realistic paintings. This melancholic portrait of Juliette Lacour is one of his most beautiful from this period, even though it is quite unusual for him. In the background you can see a view of a city marked by the Industrial Revolution. This is not a theme he would later take on, as he will be more interested in the domestic and social contemporary life. Here is the Nabi period, in which his realism loosens. Instead, he makes use of flat colors, clear lines and bold compositions. There are two of his most compelling works from this period. The scene on the right looks almost like a Japanese print. He was not into the painterly fragmentation that other artists during the post-impressionist time favored. Domestic scenes from his marriage with Gabrielle. Some of his later genre works and the landscapes, some of which are his best works and still life. But the true highlight of the book are his prints, most of them done in woodcut in the late decade of the 19th century. The paper used here is different than the one used in the paintings. There are scenes of dynamic street life and scenes with intimate moments with a heavy atmosphere. In some, you can see his working process, how he gradually simplifies and eliminates lines, merging shapes and leaving the dark ink to envelop the scene. This is also a laboratory for his later paintings. You can see how his bold, colorful compositions are influenced by his work in woodcut. There is something very cinematic about them. At the end, there is a chronology of his life with plenty of archive photos. <laughs> 